Hello everyone, in this video we will generate QR code using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's check it. Let's press this button, see the code has generated. Let's see the image will change, ok. Let's press this, see the image has changed. If I would like to write a URL, google.com, see the image has changed. So when you already scan it, so you will see this the result, ok that you that we have written okay so let's get started you have to generate this qr code so i have two files qr code.html and qr.css so this is the html file i have linked css with the this html okay this is the css file so now let's get started our coding wrapper element and it will create an input field uh, before input field we will have uh, sample card let's cut it paste it here and here we will have a view element inside that we will display our image by default we don't have any image and let's create a button generate So now let's add some design to this. Display flex, line item center, justify content center, background color, primer, blue. Uh, but let's make like this, okay. Android page. Let's write some design for dot card and width of this will be twenty percent. Right, what do you have to name just height? Background color white adding twenty pixel. Yeah, and also folder radius. So let's run it. So I have installed an extension by the name of live server. So let's click this button, go live. So it will automatically refresh our browser whenever we make changes in our files. So it will be run on this port. So let's run QR code.html. Yeah, we have this. So now let's design it. Uh, now we will add some design to input field. Let's start here. Placeholder. Text. R. URL. So let's add some design to input field. Padding would be 10 pixel and 20 pixel. And let's add. and background color would be blue color white font size 15 or 16 pixel so let's check it yeah it looks like this uh, but let's add here yeah hundred percent border radius 10 pixel border line outline 0 same code for our button save it yeah, it looks like this, okay, but we should add border to our input field.
yeah it looks like this so now whenever we press this button so we should generate our code so let's make it cursor pointer so let's add some javascript code so to generate the qr code so we will use an api by the name of qr code api so let's search it yeah the first api you see that go qr.me so let's press this one so we will just copy this url see this so let's press this url we will go to see the generated let's change this for example user so it will generate for user if we assign a url here google.com so it will generate for that so let's copy this and let's write the javascript code for that so here first of all we will get our uh, input field const value is equal to value box okay document dot query selector so let's assign a name here a class name input okay query selector dot input after that we will get uh, our um, this image okay so let's assign an id to this img okay get document dot get element by id let's assign img img okay so now let's create a function Jenna code it will generate code for us so we will write img dot src is equal to so we will just uh, the api which we has copied so we will paste that here uh, sorry that will see it we should write it and plus our um, value that we got okay value box dot value so let's whenever we press this button we will call that function on click call generate code function so we will display the image here so we can add some design for the image uh, before writing the design let's assign a class name here box and now let's add some design here but img box max height would be zero and overflow hidden and also let's add margin 10 pixel top and bottom 10 pixel and left right auto let's add some design to our image which would be 100 pixel so height would be 100 pixel and after that uh, and let's remove this so by default the uh, um, max height is 0 so whenever we press the button and we call this function we should uh, increase the height ok so for that we will add uh, we will just take this image box img box and we will add a class name to this img box so here i will add img box dot class list dot add show so to this dot show class let's add some design dot show max height would be a hundred pixel so let's check it now yeah so let's write something here let's press generate qr code so it will generate our code so let's bring it to the center so to bring it to the center let's come here 
x equal content center so now whenever you scan this qr code so you will see the result as the name okay if you write the uh, url so then we will get see the image has changed okay if you write So the image will change so whenever you scan it it so you will see the results so just scan it on your mobile and uh, comment down the result of this qr code i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching